dramatic fans. The World Poker Tour. The biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these four players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy, a WPT title. Tonight on the World Poker Tour. From Hollywood, tonight we bring you the exciting conclusion of the WPT Invitational. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Sexton alongside Vance Van Patten and welcome to the World Poker Tour. Tonight you're joining us from the world famous Commerce Casino where our champion will walk away with a $100,000 first place prize as well as a coveted WPT title. Now the WPT Invitational started out two days ago as a very exclusive star-studded slugfest. Then the final table started and it really started to heat up. The first player out was local amateur Steve Elliott, who'd won his invitation, but didn't hang on too long under the glare of the WPT's bright lights. Okay. This is my knockout, hey, this is my knockout hand right here. And in the shock of the godfather of Norwegian poker, the Scandinavian legend Thor Hansen got hammered by the professional boxer, Laron Washington. And now, all these four remaining players are even closer to the $100,000 first place prize and capturing their first WPT title. Including our last celebrity standing, reality TV star Trishel Canatella. Well, the $100,000 first place prize, the title, and all the glory that comes with it is still up for grabs. That's right, Mike, and the players look very anxious to play, so let's go watch the bluffing begin. Well, we started out two days ago with 567 players. We are down to these four, all dreaming about capturing a WPT title. The boxer, Leron Washington, got in this tournament through a satellite. He's a chip leader with close to 4.4 million in chips. And that's the green part of that graph means he's the only player at the table that has above average in chips. So he's in great shape. The rest of them have to catch up. All right, we go to the table. Lines are 50 to 100. Andy's 10,000. So on the furniture guy, Neve Barham. I'm going to raise. With a jack 10, he's going to raise. And he's got the suited connectors. 250 on top. Okay. 350 to go. Well, the boxer, our chip leader, looks down on a pair of sevens here. I raise. And he says raise. I'm telling you, this boxer has been bobbing and weaving just right at this final table, playing terrific poker here. Laurent, the boxer, is measuring his man right here. Now, Neve is on the short stack with just over a million. Oh, look at this, Vince. $650,000 re-raise. Michelle Canatella yeah, out. Seven. That's one million even? At least so. Sean Urban. Oh, Laurent, Laurent, Laurent. He remembers his name. Momentum. <laughs> hey, when it swings, it swings hard. Like a pendulum. You better believe it. Let me see one of the cards. Oh, no. Okay. He couldn't show him one of the cards because if he did, Neve would beat him in the pot. I can promise you that. That's like the furniture guy, you know, showing one of his packed umbrellas at the shop. That's not going to happen. <laughs> well, there you see the Mizraki brothers. They're good friends of Neve's. Yeah. Unbelievable, man. They're the mentors of him, in fact. Pretty good mentors to have. You feel like your hand is beat here, of course. The question is, how badly is it beat? We can see it's a race situation. He'd call if the boxer turned up his cards, but that's not the case, so he throws it away. And Vince, I gotta tell you, the boxer has been jabbing at this final table like Larry Holmes in his prime. He is nailing him right on the nose every time. The club WPT qualifier, LaRod Washington, and this man put up $20 and beat out a field of 2,400 players. And here he is living his dream of capturing a WPT title and that $100,000 first place prize. And so far, he's beat 563 other players in this event. He's now the chip leader with four players left. All right. He quickly falls. I says Trishel Canatella. Now around to the ex-Navy man, Sean Urban. He was a physics major. I'm all in. Well, look at this. He has gone all in with a 9-3. I call. Well, he's gone all in just to try to steal the blinds and Andy, but quickly gets called by Neve, who has an ace-king. This guy, man. This guy, man. Wow, just incredible. You try to make a move, 
but definitely at the wrong time. Nice call, man. Nice push. That's good move. Usually. <laughs> when you don't have You're going to win this hand. <laughs> we'll see if it's a good move. He didn't want to get cold, I promise you. He just wanted to pick up the blinds and anties. Now he's got to get lucky, not on the flop. He comes 10, 7, deuce. Neve still out in front with a great chance to double up here. And ace on the turn. It is over. Doesn't matter what comes on the river. Neve Barron is going to double up here. The ex-Navy man check it, check it. torpedoed himself right there, Vince, by moving all in. Cost him 800 and some thousand. Yeah, very unfortunate circumstance. Sean now in a lot of trouble. We'll come back with more action. Stay with us here on the World Poker Tour. Commerce hosts the WPT Invitational. It's the best event for us all year long. It matches all of the celebrities from Hollywood with the top poker pros from all over the world. It was incredible. We had 567 players play. Uh, it's a three-day event, and first place is going to take home $100,000. And we raised $100,000 for Chrysalis. Chrysalis is a nonprofit organization that helps people get back on their feet and find them jobs. And on behalf of the World Poker Tour, we're honored to partner with the Commerce Casino to raise money for such a worthwhile charity. Congratulations. It's exciting to raise that much money for charity, $100,000, and all the poker pros and celebrities really contributed. Last year, I don't know if you know this or not, it was a traumatic experience for me. I finished seventh in this event, which is, of course, the dreaded World Poker Tour double bubble. No television, no money. It's, it's basically like how to waste two days and hate yourself for doing it. <laughs> Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Oh, Ali is so right. Going out on the bubble is just a nightmare. A lot of pain going on here at the Commerce Casino as we have four players remaining. So you see our chip leader, Leron Washington. He is a dominating chip lead right now, Vince. More than two to one over any other player at the table. Sean Urban quickly folding his hand. And now the furniture guy, Neve Barham. And he's got a queen six offsuit. I raise. He's on the short stack at this final table, but going to stay aggressive. He's going to raise with this hand. 275,000 to go. Into the satellite king. The boxer, Leron Washington. Vince, Leron has played a terrific tournament up to this point. He's our chip leader right now. His dream is to capture this WPT title, and he's got a shot to do just that. Queen, nine of clubs. Does he want to gamble here with the queen, nine of clubs? The answer is yes. He makes the call. Reality star, Trishel Canatella. is going to peek down at an ace, six. Doesn't like it enough. Mux. So we have two-way action. Queen, nine versus queen, six. Here's the flop. King, six, deuce with two clubs. They're on the flop. They flush strong. Quickly checks. Neve has a piece of that pair of sixes, and he's going to make a bet. 250,000. Call. And a quick call by the four flush. This could get ugly here. Turn card coming up. Well, Jack of Diamonds comes off. So now Leron has a gut shot straight draw to go along with his flush draw, and he's mm -hmm. checked again. Neve with just a pair of sixes. Will he keep the force on? 350. Yes. Well, 350. Well, Lance, he just believes the sixes are the best hand. Uh -oh. Indeed they are. But he is going to get called here. Down to the river we go. Will Leron get lucky? He oh. does! Ten comes off. Leron has made a straight. But he says, I'm all in. Uh -huh. Well, there you see Neve mumbling to himself. If he only had the best hand, he probably doesn't feel that way anymore. Just trying to figure out how the ten beat him. Nice hand. Well, he's going to lay it down. So Chipley to Leron Washington. Giving a left and a right right there to Neve to take down that pot. Ron Washington just raking up the chips, playing beautifully. Nice river, eh, buddy? Real nice. Good guy, man. What a lucky river he's got. You know how to send the sixes there, huh? Really? Yeah. Had a club draw. And then I know you straight. did. I know you did, man. 
Neve is taken aback right now, but action goes right back to him as he looks down at a queen all 10, in. and he says all in. Perhaps a little tilt factor. LaRon Washington folding, as does Trishel Canatella. No, but the ex-Navy man, Sean Urban wow. with today's King of Diamonds and quickly calls the former Lieutenant of the United States Navy, Sean Urban, in great shape here to eliminate a player from this final table. Sean Urban. <sighs> Hey, you can't blame Neve no. for going all in. You just got to make a stand. Now he's got to get lucky to stay alive. Let's see if he can do it. As the cards lie, Neve about a two to one underdog. Here comes the flop, and it's a good one for Neve. He picks up the tens. But it's not that good because there's two diamonds on the flop. So the two tens out in front, but the nut flush draw and two over cards staring right at you. Well, there's always danger in this game. But right now, he likes that flop. Here comes the turn. Nine of spade. Yeah. Also good for Neve. So we are off to the river. Can Neve's hand stand up? He's got to dodge an ace, a king, or a diamond. Will his dream stay alive? Nice. Oh, the ace on the river. No. The dagger in the heart for Neve Barham. He so. thought he got lucky there for a minute. Got outdrawn at the river. And Vince, we are down to three. Oh, oh man. Neve Barham, an awful beat on the river. Fourth place finisher, picking up 20,000. We're down to three players. Well, I know you've got a, kind of a celebrity poker rail here watching you. Was that nice for you as that support, or was that a little bit of pressure having them watch with the, the Miserocco brothers there? Honestly, you want to tell you, honestly? Yeah. yeah. He hit the ace on the river. Yeah. I don't care who's in the stands. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it's okay, honesty. though. It's honesty, yeah. Good. You're good at what you do also. Oh, well, so Keep are you, and the ace on the river is no reflection on that. Yeah, well, if it wasn't there, we'd be hugging, not talking. Really? Yeah. You and I? Probably. Hmm. Probably. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, fourth in a tournament, even a WPT. Yeah, not, yeah, PPL, not right? so much. But thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Stay with us. The action is moving fast at the Commerce Casino, and we're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. Oh, boy, we are seeing some beats. To take down a WPT title today would absolutely mean um, the world to me. I mean, it's, it's been a dream. I watch the WPT all the time, and I'm going to fight to the end, and I'm going to try to walk away with the WPT title in 100 grand. I can't even tell you what it would mean to win this tournament. People see a young girl, and they think that we're just here to walk the red carpet and take pictures, but I'm here to win. That's what I want to do. I want to play poker. I want people to take me seriously whenever they think about me playing poker. To me, the, uh, the WPT champion is an elite group of great poker players. So I would feel honored to take that title home with me. And it's something that no one could ever take away. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. The WPT Invitational continues. We are down to three. Our current chip leader is a boxer out of West Virginia, LaRon Washington, with nearly 5.8 million in chips. In second place, a former naval officer, Sean Urban, with 2.4 million and in third place right now, the lone celebrity standing in this tournament, Trishel Canatella, with about two million in chips. Yeah, reality star quickly folds. And here Sean's gonna limp in with ace out of the small blind. Most guys would raise with that. And Ron Washington with just a four five. He's happy to see a flop. Here we go. And flop comes nine, six, three. So Sean has flopped two sixes, second pair with top kicker. He makes a bet of 150,000, but LaRon has flopped an open in straight draw. Yeah, he's got to like that. Likes the action, makes the call. Turn card coming up. Well, the five comes off. This gives LaRon a pair of fives and an open in straight draw. But Sean believes his two sixes are the best hand. So he's going to fire another torpedo, this time 400,000. Boxer considering this. Got your open ended. You got a piece of it now. Pair of fives as well. Got a lot of chips to play with. Well, Iran is going to make the call. So the two chip leaders going at it here. Can Laron get lucky? Oh, he does, Vance. Oh, he certainly Seven does. Seven comes off. He has made a straight. Unbelievable. Even though there's a possible bigger straight out there. But that card is not going to make Sean happy. He checks. I'm all in. Oh, and LeBron says all in. Get in. Well, I don't see you can call this with just two sixes here. 
And obviously if he does, he'll be gone.